Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega Hard Girls. Hello everyone, this is anime fan RK2K here with a let's play of Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega Hard Girls. Oh man, this game is amazing. It is so much fun and I am actually very excited to let's play it. So let's get right to it, right? Oh, just so you know, I did play through a little bit. Don't mind that. Got the normal ending. Nothing to write home about. So, instead we're gonna new game it. Uh, DLC, 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 stuff, stuff. It's all important. wasn't supposed to be like this. What... What I really wanted was... She wanted something. By the way, if you can't tell, this is not in English. English voice acting is pretty good. Wow, this has to be it. I can't believe I found it. The library that oversees all of history. Hooray! By the way, um, uh, just want to point out for the very beginning very awkward cg <laughs> sequence that made absolutely no sense great way to start the game luckily you guys um i keep i'll keep the opening in because that was a little bit lot of it better to watch all right all right as i have said all right this is insane i didn't think it would actually be here the rumors were so unbelievable yeah, find a final I'm giant library. I'm standing in front of the oldest library in the world. It must hold so many ancient secrets. <laughs> this will be fun. Hmm? What's that? A shooting star? Wait, we're in broad daylight. That can't be right. That's a person. Oh no. Will I make it? Hey, a person's falling. Yeah! 
So, uh, Neptune games have this trope where people fall from the sky all the time. Wait, that's not Neptune. Phew, just in time. Hey, are you okay? Where the hell did you fall from? Seriously. She's unconscious. I don't think she's dead, and she doesn't have any noticeable injuries, so... She's unconscious. She had question mark for name. She said ellipses. <sighs> no, I can't just leave her here. Damn it. The universe just gave me one hell of a burden. That it did, IF. <laughs> Still unconscious. Here we are. This is it, huh? Wow. There are a lot more books than I thought there'd be. Well, it's an old library, I guess. Okay, let's not loaf around. <laughs> this place looks too well kept to be abandoned. Someone must be here. Hello? Anyone home? What? Wait, a visitor? One moment, please. I recognize that voice. Whoa, that was a really cute voice. I was a little scared I was about to get kicked out, but I don't think I'll have to worry about that now. Be beat up the cute voice. I apologize for the delay. It's been years since I've had visitors. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I'm sorry for just barging in here like this. Where are they? But, um, where yeah, are yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Where are they? Um, I'm right here. What? What do you mean? I can hear your voice just fine, but... I can't see you. I'm right in front of you. Look lower. No, lower than that. Lower? lower. Uh... Surprise. Hello, my name is Eastwar. I'm the librarian here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yo, that's like her... That's like her ultra dimension. Are you though. some kind of... Book fairy or something? Hey, book fairies. Book fairy? I don't believe so. I mean, she's she must be small because I have didn't see her. She has wings. Oh well. <laughs> I suppose there are stranger things in life than meeting someone who fits in your palm. Nice to meet you, Eastwar. She looks kind of big, though, on the character's Truly, right. the pleasure is mine. Um, what should I call you? Oh, right. Where are my manners? My name's Aya. People call me a gust of wind that blows through the wasteland. <laughs> Excuse me? To put it simply, I travel the world looking for the next big adventure. That, that nickname kind of sounds self-proclaimed. Ah, so you're an adventurer. And who is that? Yeah, the unconscious person we picked up. I'm actually not sure. She just fell out of the sky. It's one way to pick up chicks, right, guys? Out of the sky? Yeah, I think she's doing okay, but do you think you can take a look at her? Sure. Although... I don't believe I'm entirely qualified. I'm not a medical professional. I, mean, I guess she's a book fairy, so... But, if I conduct some research, I'm certain I can find an answer in three minutes or so. You can do it then? Here she is. Whoa! Uh, let's see. Her breathing is... normal. Pulse? Normal. She might have a slight fever, though. I just have this image of this, like, palm-sized... Very histoire, like carrying a normal sized girl, like, oh yeah, let's check and see if she's okay. Mm, she seems to be doing all right. She weighs a considerable amount compared to me. Hey, by the way, this place is the really famous library, right? She doesn't appear to have sustained any injuries either. Huh? <clears throat> famous library? Every piece of the world's history is kept right here. That's what I've heard, anyway. Yo, are you like this, uh... Yes, it's true. Are you this, uh... S super awesome library I've heard about? Really? Indeed. Well, I haven't personally verified every single document, 
but I'm sure they're all here. Hey. That makes this place incredibly important. Are you sure you should be doing this? Doing what? Letting a stranger like me inside. Yeah, I just told you I'm an adventurer. I brought an unconscious girl in on my motorcycle that I probably drove into the library. You know, just saying. Well, this is a library after all. Anyone is allowed to come and go as they please. Apparently the, uh, the oldest library in the world is a public library. Even if you two are people with questionable intentions, I do not have the authority to kick you out. She probably couldn't anyway, physically. I see. So, is it alright if I take a look around? Of course. Can you please be careful not to damage any of the books? Please don't steal them either. Eh, not a problem. You got it. Yeah, you got it. So, very first thing we do is tutorial on how to move around the map. And this is what makes the game really cool. Hey, teach me history. Dungeons will have treasure chests and stuff. You can press circle to jump. Event markers start events or battles. Stuff happens. By the way, not only that, um, the right control stick does... Oh, by the way, he's a PlayStation 3 controller because I'm playing on my PS PlayStation TV. So the right control stick moves camera. Left is moving around. This is your default speed, but you can hold the R1 button to run. Press circle to jump. Let's see? Uh, you can actually go up and down ladders. So there is no ladder there, so that was a complete boot point. Whee! Um, something I notice is you do, yeah, you have that kind of like sliding stop. And uh, it's gonna tell you this right now about ladders. Basically, they say, hey, you can move around on them and stuff. And do more stuff. And when you press circle, you, you know, just jump on. You can also jump grab stuff. And this is gonna tell you the same thing about how to traverse ropes. You use the jump a rope, grab on, left stick to move. Press circle button when you can fall off, you can fall off. So if, for example, here we go. I press circle here, Woo. she'll drop right down. Anyway. Go. Uh, here we go. Yeah, that's the sideways movement. We. I guess. Here we go. I think the last piece of advice he gave you is on the which is right here. It's about the running jump. Can I skip this event? No. It won't let me. Yeah, basically, if you, you know, running jumps, jump longer. So, they call it dash jumps, whatever. So, like I was saying before, circle. If you do a normal jump, you will never make that. Um, what are you talking to me now? Oh, basically about obtainable objects. Um, I don't think there's any... Oh, yeah, there's... All the metals here. There should be, a, and it's gonna be like, hey, you can break stuff, right? Oh no, this is about crawl spaces. So yeah, if you get to a crawl space, you can crawl through, and then there's the breakable objects, which if you use your uh, X button, your confirm button, you can break stuff. So let's just, yeah. Yeah. Here we and then go. you just kind of crawl and see a nice. IF butt shot because this is a compile art game. Cannot do a compile art game without the fan service in it. Uh, and this is a save point, you know. So, yeah, I'm gonna save in slot 5. And this is gonna be for the let's play. Whee! So, at the end of the day, this is just a normal library? I do have an extensive collection of books, though. Actually, if you look around, there's a ton of books here. Well, yeah, and here, I guess I can study up on some ancient history. Wait, actually, I can't read any of this at all. 
I don't even know what language this is. Probably some like ancient la forgotten languages. I thought this was gonna be a really fun discovery too. Question. If you find the oldest library in the world, what do you think would it, it would look like? I've... Everything I know about this world is modeled with sadness. No life, no culture. You're such an awful boy. I don't know what happened. I've heard rumors of an arduous battle that left the generations that followed with this... Oh, it's the IF emo monologue. This infinite wasteland. I was hoping to find something truly phenomenal here. I've traveled the world searching for this place, but... It seems like it was just another waste of time. Is there really Oops. nothing beautiful left in this desolate world? Oh. Uh oh. Star, what was that? What's up? Don't what's up me. What is the meaning of this? Oh, this looks horrible. These books are totally ruined. Why would you do such a thing? I explicitly told you not to damage any of the books. Wait, here. did I just come back from like the other side of the library? Hey, don't look at me. I was in the back the whole time. Exactly. Who else would do this? This person you brought has been sleeping here this whole time. They, they totally uh, woke up, ripped it out. I, I, Please I, calm down. Were you even here when this happened? Well, not exactly. I went to grab a wet towel and when I returned, it was like this. Yo. Is there a possibility someone came in while you were gone? I suppose it's possible, but I highly doubt it. People don't generally visit. I asked her, she said she didn't have a guest in what, years? You must realize, you two are the first visitors I've had in quite some time. Alright, let me take a look around. It might be dangerous, so you should stay here. Uh, uh, um... So, it wasn't IF. Oh, I was so rude to her. Yeah, you were. You accused me of de of desecrating books. I didn't do anything. But, if it wasn't her, then who? Oh. Yo, she's totally faking it. This swear. She's totally faking it. Oh, you're awake. How are you feeling? Uh, uh. Grunt. Do you need anything? Something to eat or drink, perhaps? Yo, can I get um, can I get a Big Mac, large fries, Coke Zero? She wants uh, eternal youth on the side, I guess. Huh? Time eater. By the way, you can't see this, but I'm tilting my head at the time eater. You'll re you'll know. You'll know. Meanwhile, in uh, here, yeah, that's it. Go back here again. So I'm gonna assume. By the way, almost every time you enter the grand, um, the grand atrium, I believe it's called. Uh, <laughs> is there a ladder here yet? Nope. Okay. I believe it just wants you to go to the back. And the most awkward jump in the world, unless you change the camera for it. That's me jumping down. Any baseballs? They said there were baseballs too. I want a baseball. Okay, no baseball. Got it. Let me go to the Carly space. And we get this event. Huh? A robot? Ellipses, robotic noise. Whoa, hold on. I'm a guest here. But I'm a security robot, I don't care. Ugh. Gotta shut it down. I have no choice. I'm gonna have to destroy it for now. 
to teach about combat. Um, combat's interesting. You have this gauge and stuff, and um, we'll go over it as I actually go through it because this is boring to read all this. <laughs> Can you stop me? What should I do? So basically, you start with um, you start with this uh, over guard thing here. Uh, you start a meter. The moment you start moving, it goes up a set amount, and then per attack, it goes up a little bit. And if I start moving again from here, it'll go up again, and most likely, once it gets into that purplish area, it won't let me do anything. It'll end my turn. I'll have to end my turn, so. I'm gonna end it here now. And, uh, if you look at the... your health and your hit points and SP, your SP is actually doesn't refill unless you use items to refill it, or, if you have noticed, sorry, Per attack, it goes up. So, very simple battle strategy. Hey, that's pretty awesome pose, I have. Simple battle strategies. You basically save your SP for boss battles. Whoa, it's gonna take forever to deal with all these. Swing. Uh, fine. Time to go all out. And this is more, uh... Oh yeah, if you press and hold the X button, you use charge attacks. Which I completely forgot. And, if, and then, yeah, it fills up your thing. And then you have skills. And see, SP will replenish when attacking and receiving damage. Charge attacks will replenish a SP greatly if the enemy being attacked is destroyed and SP levels are maintained, then uh, everyone has a thousand SP as their max. So when they say use 20%, it's always, it always seems to be 200. Um, basically, you have an awakened state, which is a little bit more stronger. I can go anytime. Uh, but for now, because they want to shoehorn you into using a special, targeting all four, let's use a skill. Yay! Well, this place looks fine too. It's pointless to search aimlessly like this. I don't sense anyone else here. Maybe the culprit left already? Huh? Histoire? <clears throat> I'm a monster. What's wrong? What is that? Don't move! No one needs to get hurt! What? No one's here? I could have sworn someone... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Behind me? When did you... It's dropped her, man. That's not nice. It's like game over. Oh, well, uh, thanks, Asar. Unconscious? So did someone sneak in? Maybe? Oh, I feel so out of yeah, it. Yeah, it's like you're knocked out or something. Let's head back at once. Much has happened. Wait, what? Hmm? It's been like a few minutes, though, right? She's awake now? Yes, she woke just after you left. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, what's your name? Segami. Sega is you. Segami, huh? <laughs> I'm I F. It's nice to meet you. Uh, uh, That's a very, very, very clear nice to meet you. Thanks, Segami. It seems like her memories haven't fully returned. Try not to overwhelm her with questions. 
Yeah, sure. Well, I'm feeling much better than I was earlier. Feel better after walking off my uh, concussion. So, you were saying a lot happened. Correct. Specifically pertaining to the bookcase that was ruined earlier. Dun dun dun. A portion of history that was stored there has gone missing. Oh. That has something to do with that time year she mentioned while she was uh, asleep. What? Yeah. It's as I said. The history disappeared. History disappeared. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble understanding what you're saying. It may sound unbelievable, but I assure you, it's the truth. Like history was here, and then it. And then it's gone. The truth, huh? You can't handle the truth, IF. There appears to have been similar incidents in the past. Or at least, there was record of it in my research. Yeah, that's not good. So, what happens when history gets lost? If it's only a small portion, there won't be any immediate effects. History will often patch itself in cases like this. Oh, man. Bleeding. Oh, it's just a paper cut. It'll heal with time. You're making some startling claims, yet you seem so calm about it. Yeah, you know, in the past, uh, sometimes history disappeared, and you know, history is just like, you know what, whatever, walk it off. But if too much history is lost at once, it wouldn't be able to repair itself. Guess this difference between like a small flesh wound and like losing your arm. Eventually, this world and everyone living inside of it will be destroyed. Or it'd be the equivalent of, um, you know, a flesh wound and the world being destroyed, I guess. Ooh, that's a lot bigger, I guess. World destroyed. Yeah, that sounds bad. That's a pretty tall tale coming from someone so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, you have no reason to doubt me. It's incredibly dangerous. Even if this was all true, it doesn't sound like there's much we could do about it. Yeah, seriously. It's impossible to alter the past. There's no way. No way. None. That's not entirely true. This library actually exists for that very purpose. What do you mean? I mentioned earlier that a similar event occurred in the past. It's happened a handful of times, even. So, you know. This library has the ability to locate and repair history that has been lost and consequently broken. Literally fixing history. Exact. That's why I just said say to me. On the ball. 10 out of 10. Sounds like you might not be making this up after all. I've got to admit, this is getting interesting. It's like, man, there's nothing beautiful left in this world. Life sucks. This is the last interesting thing. Wait, wait. You're saying we can go through time and repair history? So, how do you find or even fix history? It's not like you can just warp back in time and do that. And his wife probably be like, yo, actually, because this is a Neptunia game, plot convenience, you absolutely can. Actually, you can. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I skipped through a lot of this beginning dialogue. What? We have the technology. It hasn't been used in some time, however. Oh, this is all happening so quickly. Yo, uh, so you can we we have the we have the technology to go back in time and fix history. Yeah, yeah, you know it's just right here on this shelf. be addressing this problem with a special solution. Oh. So, what's next? I was like, yo! Normally, there's a vessel in which one can store the library's power. Simply, it's a device. And this device generally needs to be prepared ahead of time. Like a TARDIS? Let's cut to the chase. How do I help you fix this? How do you warp through time? Actually, using your bike, I have. In fact, 
I've already made the necessary adjustments. Oh, yeah, sweet. Oh, okay, so... Wait a damn minute. My bike? Uh-oh. Yes, your bike. I see. Hmm. What? What the hell? Who gave you permission to modify my bike? <laughs> Rating on this game. You bleeped out the swear word. But why didn't you mention it until right now? Well, um, I was in a panic, and you weren't coming back ever, or so it seemed. I was like, it's only been a few hours. What in the world are you yeah, talking about? Uh, yeah, a few minutes, few hours, whatever. Um, no, I am. Uh, it's actually been three days. <laughs> since you left to investigate. Three days? Was I really out for that long? Wait, let me get this straight. So, I got concussed for three days. And in that time, you panicked and went, let's install a time-traveling device into her bike. Wait, if that's what happened, why didn't you come looking for me sooner? Yeah, exactly. I, I told you. Uh oh, she hasn't come back. It's been a few hours. Let's go. Let's get to installing. Never. Bike's already been altered. It's done. You can remove your mods later, though, right? Yes. As soon as this matter is resolved, it's a promise. Oh, one more thing. Uh oh. There's more. I'm sorry, but would you be able to? You want me to go handle this, right? Sure. That's probably the one thing I have actually wants to do. What? Really? There's no way you could even reach the handlebars on my bike. How else is this gonna get done? Well, you trust uh, Amnesiac over here? Well, that's true, but it might be a dangerous journey, you know. Uh. Danger? <laughs> that's always the best part of the adventure, Histoire. To you. Yay! It's a little too early to be thankful. So, where's my bike? It's right over here. <laughs> I hope Segumi's not the bike. Uh, I think she was just nonchalantly going, hey, I'm still here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. So it's basically explaining the different things, which you could just do by just, you know, talking about, um, oh, no, this is actually important. Stats, okay, stats aren't important, per se. So, you know, there's a lot of new things here. Uh, I think first things first, we'll meet each of the girls. Let's do that. Start with uh, Master System. Hi, Master System. I like music, art, and being trendy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah! She's the Archive. Gasp! It startled me. I was so concentrated on this book I've been reading. My apologies. My name is Terror Drive. It's nice to meet you. Oh, there's the event. So you're IF, huh? I'm Terror Drive. Um, yeah. Hey, I thought Histoir was the only person living in the library. Are you visiting? You could say that. I think I'm actually in this era because of some abnormal events that happened in history. Maybe we can drop you off in your era while we investigate what's going on. I'm sure we can take one more person. That's very kind of you, but I just want you to prioritize your investigation. I'll be okay here for now. I'll support you, or I suppose the only way I can do that is by helping oversee the library. If you're ever in a bind, please feel free to come and talk to me. Thanks, Terror Drive. That'd be great. I somehow learned your name from all that. I don't even know how. And she's the item shop. I'm Mega Drive 2. Selling complicated calculations. That's sweet. And then... 
I am SG1011. Question reality and get closer to your truth. The path you walk will be rough. Um, and then she's gone. Sweet. Hey, Swar, how's it going? I'll create a list of all the errors I'd like you to investigate. Please begin with checking this, checking Sega Saturn's era. Yay! So far, it's just me. Or teach me history. So I can assign new missions and stuff. So basically, you can do missions. Um, and then your observation level increases as you do it. But we have this one. First order of business, investigate Saturn's era. Oh, watch your head. Cannot retire from this mission. And then boom. Yeah, you know, it's added like the small thing. Oh, what is it? Time warping. I'm not so sure that's something I would refer to as uh, simple. Exactly. Anyway, I'm glad. I was worried you were gonna give it a stupid paint job. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. According to box art and stuff, that comment is gonna come to bite you, Aya. So, how do I control it? your destination points myself so all you have to do is arrive vroom vroom what's more important is how you conduct yourself after you make the jump all right rules of uh, rules of uh, going through time don't mess up history any questions got it so all you need me to do is investigate our history problem right yes however the goal is to do so without interfering with the affairs of the people from the past. All right, that's exactly. If something drastic were to occur, it'll become even more difficult to find out what's gone wrong. Uh, sounds all right. That's basic knowledge for time warps. I'm pretty well read on the subject. Yeah, you know, if you read a book or two about like not screwing up history. All right, I'm gonna head out now. Yay. I'm coming too. Hey. Don't just sit there. Hurry. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you can talk now, huh? How nice. <laughs> I have sarcasm. It's hilarious. Huh. Th thank you. <laughs> I believe you're a little confused, dear. Can you remember anything at all? This was a oh, dearie. You're, you have amnesia and you just woke up. I've forgotten everything except for my name. Why do you care? <laughs> I like Why do I care? You become a hindrance to the mission if you can't remember anything. Ser That's seriously. Right. Yeah, do you seriously think you can just come with me despite not being able to remember <clears throat> anything at all? Seems like a very odd uh sense. That doesn't matter. I'm coming. I have to go with you. <laughs> I truly believe you should continue resting. You're still recovering and shouldn't get so worked up. Who cares? I'm going. I don't think she's gonna listen to you, Iswar. Just saying. What do you think? Well, the bike was built to transport up to two people, so... The same goes for my device. We won't have a problem if she does end up going with you. Okay, I guess I'll take her with me. As soon as she calms down, I'll try to get more information from her. All right, sounds good. As long as you are okay with it, I am. Honestly, I'd rather not involve people who don't need to be involved, but... But I panicked and put this time warp function into your bike. Considering I didn't even know who you were until a few days ago, I think it's a little late for that. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yes, you're right. It's okay. Hey, what the heck are you two talking about? I might as well just leave you behind. I just have like this image where just sitting on the back of the bike, like, hey, hey, you guys talking about? Let's go. Sure, go ahead and try. I don't 
of mind. That is, if you even know how to use that thing. Oh, I could just press some buttons and it'll move. See? Like this, and this, and this. Hey! Be gentle with that. She's probably just like pounding on the, the on the uh, on the bike. All right, we're out of here, Eastwar. Okay, be careful out there. And this is the premise of our story, right? Whee! me has joined. Yay! Uh, I think we've stopped. What happened? Did we make it? Um, it looks different so far. Well, we've definitely arrived at an entirely different location. See? That's the background. I've been all over the world, but I've never seen this place before. This is it. This is it? This is it! This is the past! I'm sure of it! Wait, how do you know that? This is the era where the goddess Neptune fights Sega Saturn for power over the land. Oh snap, Neptune. Her name's in the uh in the title. How can you know that? Hey, that's a very oddly specific tidbit of information for somebody who has amnesia. I've seen it before. Oh. Huh. You've seen it? When? Where? Isn't it obvious? Wait. What? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It. Uh. 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 uh, uh, uh okay. <laughs> You're very suck. I can't help it. I have amnesia. Very true. It's true. But I'm positive I've seen all this before. That doesn't make sense, but we'll take your word for it. Okay, well, I'll believe you. There you go. For now, anyway. So we're looking for the moment of history that's disappeared. Yeah. We're investigating. Wait. How do we search for this moment exactly? Yeah, when is that? Don't ask me. All right. I can barely understand this concept of history just disappearing. Yeah, history just doesn't disappear. What am I supposed to do? It sounds like you should have gotten a little more intel before starting this mission of yours. Really? Really, Sega me? If some nosy stranger didn't rush me. Exactly. Oh, hey, you can't put this all on me. I was panicking and suffering from amnesia, so. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me you're a bitch on top of everything else. <laughs> a flower. Are you a bitch? Well, I wouldn't exactly disagree with you, but watch your mouth. <laughs> Why don't we just walk around? I I think you can point out some obvious changes. Sure, that's fine. I'm starting to feel kind of nostalgic about it, actually. It's fun. Hey. Yeah. Nostalgic. Yeah, walking's good. Hey, wait. We shouldn't be doing something so leisurely <laughs> and fun right now. This is a serious issue. When did the word fun ever come out of my mouth? <laughs> Wait, walking sounds fun. We can't have fun. And yeah, it's the map. It looks pretty. And there's virtual force. We got the target location down. Uh, and it's gonna be like, yo, you could do stuff in forest like attack enemies or get attacked by them and there's stuff okay and some enemies go viral which means they're stronger there's status ailments you guys could totally just pause and watch them on your own yeah. Yeah. and uh basically everything else we learned oh my wait wait, wait. Uh, 
Uh, and then gems are in battles that do stuff. You know, good times. And uh, when fever mode happens, fever mode time happens, good times. Uh, EX drives, you won't get them for a while, so don't worry about them. They're super strong moves you can use during the fever time. And... Where are you? Yep. Ta-da! It's my turn. So yeah, general rule of thumb is just kind of go into the circle and uh. What should I do? Oh, that's it, basically. Yeah, you get experience and stuff. You know, good times. Yay, detoxin. Okay, see me just detoxin. Yeah, there's more yep. pushes. Yep. All right. The range on the surprise attack's weird. Your first admit it. I mean to attack one more time, but oh well. You're done. You're done. And then you just attack, and then it's good times. Hey! So leveling up uh, does heal your HP back fully, so that's nice. Come on, give me items. I learned how to use these weapons just to cut grass. No! Oh! Yeah! Ha 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 ha. Right, let's see. Let's see the events up there. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, general rule of thumb is. Well, collect all the medals, and if you find a baseball, collect all the baseballs. That's a Sergeant Froggy. If you don't understand that reference, um, I don't know what to say to you. It's a pretty popular show. There you go. Sergeant Froggy doesn't get a turn here. Not from us. We'll uh, level up a little bit right now. Um, I'm probably not going to do any major uh, level grinding, if only for the fact that um, I don't think it's required or necessary to get through the game. Don't quote me on that. There's more. Cut the grass here. Yeah. 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 Cut the grass. Mow the lawn. Stamina bangle. Oh, yeah, I can equip items too. Um. Hey, baseball. So there's like one baseball hidden per level. Yeah. So it's good to find them. It's my turn. The bit's a little bit different from. Security we saw. There we go. Attack from behind does a little bit extra damage. save point there we're not using it yeah so I'm not gonna go out of my way to really level grind I think that did show off the majority of the oops just walked right into that guy and there's some of the gems you can see up there obviously we can't reach them so we're not gonna waste our time for them 
give me more SP. I get that. Okay, okay. There you go. Alright, so just so you know, a level up also counts um, if you're a uh, class level, which in this case she's a nomad, goes up. And as you level up, you'll get more skills and things like that. Not to worry about those. Can I? Yeah, I totally can. Unnecessary jump. So yeah, general rule of thumb, I think I said, basically run everywhere because you just jump higher, uh, you can literally just run away from enemies and not deal with their crap. Alright, we collect all the medals, we collected the baseball already. No! So yeah, if you get attacked from behind, or you get attacked while doing a symbol attack. This happens. I, you know, basically, it's bad things. Oh, uh, they poison IF. That's not good. You poisoned me, and now I must kill you all. Attacking. No, and I have leveled up, so her ult is probably full again. Which is very nice of them to do for me. Uh, yeah, nothing else, so let's go right to the event. That's from basically the apocalypse. Huh, I know, right? It was so peaceful during this time. Ah, uh, peace. So great. This time. Hmm. It makes me wonder how our world ended up in such poor shape. It actually started near the end of this era. The disputes were more intense. People didn't enjoy their games as much. Say, how do you know that? Eventually, it all turns to waste. Like, seriously, how do you do that? You seem pretty knowledgeable about it. Yeah, seriously. Do you think so? Isn't this just common knowledge? I think I specifically mentioned uh, something bad happened, but I'm not sure what. I'd like to think I was well versed on matters of history, but I don't know what you're talking about at all. Before I lost my memory, I was super knowledgeable about these things. Hey, baby, before I lost my memory, I was a historian. I'm beginning to wonder what kind of person you really are. Now I'm interested. <laughs> well, I want to know more. Yay. Huh. You better hope you get your memory back soon, then. Hmm? What's up with you? Are you trying to cheer me up? Huh. Maybe I am. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I want. Maybe I just want you to be happy. You're acting strange. You're being nice to me. <laughs> you're weird. You're you're nice. That's weird. I won't fall for that trick so easily. Don't underestimate me. Oh, get off it. You have a pretty wild imagination, <laughs> don't you? Don't change the subject like that. I need to make sure that. Come here, hurry! Ah! Hey, hey! Why are you holding me? Shut up! Look over there! Dun dun dun. What? Where? Ah! What? Is that someone's voice? Where is that coming from? Crap! Get out of the way! 
die or we're gonna get crushed! Hey, hey! Don't be so rough with me! Move, move, move! It's all clear! Feel free to fall whenever you're ready! <laughs> That was a close one. Uh, that didn't seem too close, really. Guys, a person just fell from the sky. What's going on? Did someone fall from the sky? A human? I think so. Doesn't it remind you of a certain someone? <laughs> I said, like, doesn't it remind you of a certain someone was falling from the sky that I caught? Nah. Saving was like, what? Conveniently have amnesia again. Whatever. <laughs> I wonder if that girl who fell is okay. Yeah, you know, a person fell from a great height. I wonder if they're alright. I mean, she looks like she's alright. She has like blood and guts. Yeah, she's totally fine. <laughs> no, no. Dead. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm what you may call it. Hey, I know who this is. Wow. She fell out of the sky and doesn't have a scratch on her. How does that make sense? <laughs> hey, I'm not totally okay. My body is actually aching a ton right now. Although, I'm kind of used to this by now. Haven't you played the other games? Like I said, I'm pretty skilled. <laughs> Meanwhile, in uh, the fourth wall, what fourth wall? For someone who took such a big fall. I like how no one acknowledges this. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, this character clearly looks like she's gonna talk crazy talk. Know, but I'm just really glad I didn't hit either of you. It would have sucked if I smashed an innocent bystander. Yeah, that'd be bad. Thanks for dodging me. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, you're a Neptune, right? <laughs> Yeah, 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 um, about that. Yep, that's me. Man, I should have known people would notice. Not much I can do about that. I'm just that popular. Yeah, yeah, Neptune, Neptune, Neptune. We need to talk. She's alive. Then that must mean... She didn't die from the free fall? Wait, Neptune? Isn't she the goddess you mentioned before? She's a goddess? Her? Are you sure? Now, this person who just fell from a great height and was like, hey, thanks for uh, not getting crushed by me. Don't be like that. I'm just asking if this weirdo's really a goddess Pouty. or not. Pouty expressions. Hey, um, you know, I'm standing right here. Why would you ask you? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that wasn't what I... Um... I'm sorry, Your Highness. You just seem so, um, kooky. <laughs> I thought goddesses were, you know, brighter. Basically, you look dumb. You don't look like a goddess. You really know how to lay it on thick, don't ya? <laughs> Neptune! What, what? Why are you shouting? Um, um, I need to tell you something. Or, I should have. Um, oh no. I don't have time to hang out. Sorry, you two. I usually have a meet and greet and shake hands and take pictures, but maybe some other time. Bye. See ya. Hey, wait. She's gone. Well, that person was a goddess. It kind of makes sense that the world was, you know, destroyed. Shots fired. Ooh. No, that's not it. It wasn't destroyed just because she's a little stupid. <laughs> Man, Neptune's off screen going like, really, guys? Really? Really? Let the record show that you were the one who called her that. Not Boom. Screenshot saved. The world was destroyed because you don't look so hot. Don't stress yourself too much. Yeah. I feel like I'm so close to remembering. But so far... 
She should be around here somewhere. Meanwhile, someone's coming. Oh, this voice. Who would have thought she would go flying like a rag doll? I guess I should go a little easier on her. Hey. I think someone's here. Perfect timing. By the way, I know for a fact who this is. This is Sega Saturn. I know because I watched the uh, Sega Hard Girls anime. It's pretty hilarious. Wait, why are you crying, Sega Me? Seriously, why are you crying? What the? Why is she crying? That's why I want to know. Huh? Whoa. Whoa, what's the matter? Did Timmy fall down the wall again, Sega Me? She doesn't know. Yes, why? Tell me. Leave her alone. She's emotionally unstable. <laughs> Jeez. This game is like super harsh. This is so weird. I can't stop. Oh, whatever. Peace. Hey, did you two see someone fall from the sky just now? You know, she she said something about falling from the sky before. She broke the fourth wall. She just passed. Yeah, right over there. Huh. This mark must be where she made the impact. I wonder which way she ran. Should we tell her? <gasps> Guess she's at a loss for words. Hmm. She ran that way, and she ran fast. Just saying. Great, thanks. Ugh, she's so tough. Uh, yeah, she survived a giant fall with nary a scratch. No problem. Hope this doesn't count as interfering. Hey, are you okay? Can you stop crying. I have to go. What? You, you have to go? I have to go after them. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty good characters, right? You mean those two girls? Who else would I be talking about? We have to hurry before we lose sight of them. But what are you planning on doing after you catch up to them? I'm going to stop them from fighting. Oh, yeah, sounds good. What? You can't just mess with history like that. You'll just mess up the future even... Shut up! We're gonna stop them! Me angry, Sega me. Me stop them. Hey, wait! What the hell is wrong with her? So, um... Yeah. By the way, these things help with the observation level. I'll lend you money. Start charging 10% interest after the 10th day. Switchy after all. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. So once you complete an event like that, you have to go to the Grand Library to report on it, and what more people showed up, like you. My name is SC3000. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Hey, G's name is SG1000. Sorry I didn't mean to bump into you. Aww, don't worry. Let's talk to you, bunny. Ta-da! You are the 100 billionth visitor. Who... who am I? It's Sega Mark III! Nice to meet you! Bye! I'm RoboPitcher. Nice to meet you. Let's go, RoboPitcher. Oh, that's my baseball. I was looking for it. Where did you find it? Find more, bring them over. Yay! Gem Hunter Formation. So, long story short, it's gonna be like, yo, you could do different formations and things happen. And stuff happen. Alright, so, um. Let's report. What is going on in the world? That's a good question. Let's report this. Get our little uh, completion for it. It does. Oh, yeah, that's right. The game is weird. It does things like this where it's like, oh, let's move to Sega Saturn era. Where there's nothing to do. And let's go back and all of a sudden we have a mission we can... Yep. So, um, I think I'll call it for right here, right now. Uh, yeah, this game is a lot of fun. There's some wonkiness to it that I also really like, too. 
I don't know why. But yeah, no, this is... This game is a lot of fun. I got the normal ending. Didn't take me that long to do so. It's on the PS Vita. It's a great game. Super Dimension Neptune vs. Sega Hard Girls. From what I've seen of it. So, you know, I'm going for the true ending. It basically says you have to do everything to go for the true ending. So, that's what I'm going for. Anyway, this anime fan, RK2K, thank you very much for watching.